we are only nine to eight days away by the time you guys are watching this video and we are going to get the ECW pack DLC, probably one of the most anticipated DLC packs that we have been all excited for in maybe all the WWE games. We haven't seen CM Punk in 10 years, damn near, and this is just a great time to rejoice, finally get CM Punk back, Terry Funk, the Dudley Boys, Sandman, and yes, yeah, Sandman right now is that guy because we've been getting exclusives on him dropped all over Twitter. And uh, we can go on ahead and start here, guys. You guys see a screenshot, and man, there he is. I must say they did a great job with the model. What do you think? Let's go on ahead and get into it. Kiro, let's get it. Uh, I like the attire, very detailed. like the fact that he's coming up with the candlestick, but I do not like his hair because it feels like it's it's glitchy, like it's, you can see through the hair to the background. It's like it's transparent a little bit. That's the only thing that's really standing out to me. And that type of glitch happened uh, to a couple of my creator wrestlers too. So that like, I don't, I'm not, I'm iffy about the hair. I, I know Sandman didn't have the most luscious amount of, you know, uh, the hair piece up on, up on the top of his head. But I feel like he had much more noticeable hair there. But then again, I haven't watched like Sandman too many times. And the last time I've ever seen him really is back in SVR 2008 in the video game itself. So maybe it's something I don't know. But yeah, besides the hair, I think everything else is pretty good looking graphics wise. Yeah, for sure. Kenny, what do you yeah, think about um, this model, man? You know what? We haven't talked about it, Kettle, but I actually said the same thing in my video. It's something going on with his hair. And yeah. I also think, like his face, I think they face scanned him today because he looks like right. an old man where if you look at some of his old pictures, which I did in my video as well, he does look different than he looks in this game. But overall, I mean, I wouldn't say it's spot on, but it's still a really mm -hmm. good model. Uh, the entrance kind of surprised me as well because as we know, oh. even I didn't watch all of ECW all the time, but I used to catch it sometimes when it was on pay-per-view. Um, and Sandman came from the crowd. Yeah, he did. He did. So, and, and looking back at WWE, um, SmackDown versus Raw 2008, he actually came from the crowd in that game as well. Now, I believe we got entrances here in 2K24 where our wrestlers come out the crowd, right? The shield yeah. entrance is all the shield yeah, entrance yeah, in there. Them. Yeah, they got all of them in there. The, the, all the three. Yeah. So they can do it. So I don't know why did we cut a corner here and make him come out when if you're going to get Sandman in here and make it the iconic Sandman, you got to make him come from the crowd. But the important thing is the fact that he plays like Sandman in the ring because we all skip the entrances anyway. So it's always a nice touch and it's not really good to give him a pass there. But hey, it is what it is. I mean, it could be depending on the arena, like in some arenas, even mm. if you set someone yes. to the Dean Ambrose entrance. Uh, because of the arena type, they cannot do that. So they do like a normal walking entrance. Maybe that's the case. But then, why is 2K showcasing this, you know? Yeah, maybe. I yeah. mean, my thing is, based on even this angle right here, right? There is yeah. no staircase for them to go down if they're going to do something like the uh, entrance mm -hmm. arena. So, or crowd arena, our crowd entrance, yeah. I'm sorry. So right now, uh, this is interesting. Because then again, you show him in a regular arena where people can actually see the iconic entrance. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. They probably were thinking, hey, if we can't get him to come out in the ECW arena with that, you know, iconic entrance, then I don't know what happened there. I don't know where this entrance is from, though. I'll be honest. I know some people said, hey, this is from like the beginning where Sandman really started. But like people don't know him for this. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, so it, true. it's, it's very true. interesting the approach that they took with this, in, in my opinion, and like nonetheless graphically looks good and everything like that aside from like the hair but yeah kenny you did hit that on the nail it does look like they scanned him maybe a couple months ago like his act like his actual self because uh i don't know man i felt like they could have they could have done a little bit more in terms of uh making him look a little bit younger like yeah bro, like he, he look he looked like he in his 70s bro so <laughs> <laughs> right. just, it, it, it does look like that old man. so um yeah but another point <laughs> Hmm. Another point that's going around is that he does not have his Enter the Sandman theme. Well, I mean, the that's tough. It? Yeah, it's tough, bro, but I heard that it's dumb expensive because Metallica is the one who, uh, it is. who does it. Like, I'm I heard cool. you got to pay, like, um, seven. dollars That's the reason. That's it's the reason. Expensive. So, yeah, yeah it's this... expensive. And... Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Finish your thought because I got a different question. Yeah, well, I was going to say it is expensive. And at that point, is it worth it? Because this is a DLC character. And are you going to get the return in that investment? 
And even if you do, you're pretty much just going to be making your money back for what you spent on the entrance theme music. So if they really wanted seven figures, then I think it's a good move. They didn't go with it, but it just sucks, man. It just really sucks. Tony, but Kong it would have been, yeah, it would have been cool to have Metallica on the jukebox in the game. Like I would turn that up immediately. But yeah. do you guys think the theme song he has now, is it a real one that he used or is it just like a copyright free, whatever you could get generic death rebel type type of deal? I really didn't care for these guys when they came into WWE, besides, of course, uh, Taz and Rob Van Dam. But I think there was a point where they did like the ECW thing, and it just really wasn't for me. I never watched it when they were running the show, so I have no idea what his uh, interest music was in WWE. But it does sound like generic theme number four. I don't know if he ever went to the WWE, to be honest with you. He, might have he just was been in there for a few appearances, right? What? Was he? Because I, I thought he was I just ECW. Him in the e before. I really don't remember him in WWE too much. Yeah, maybe it was there sporadically, just a couple, like you said, Kenny, here and there. But one thing I, when I was watching his entrance, one other thing I don't like is like all the micro expressions on his face is great. But when he's smashing that beer bottle, he just does one facial expression and then keeps on smashing it on his head. Like it doesn't change or it doesn't wince with pain. It looks too st static for someone. You're like literally smashing the uh, beer uh, can on your face and your eyes like stay the same and stuff like that at least squint a little bit more but yeah yes. oh man it's it's I, we get I do have a question that oh. man did go um to wwe in 2006 when they relaunched ecw so he okay. was there for a second makes sense but i do have a question about this dlc pack kenny i already know your answer sir but what mm -hmm. is uh seeing this sandman like who is the person that you guys are most excited for out of this dlc pack i think this Me is CM Punk? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> beat him down and make him bleed every match I can. Anytime I do a 2K video, CM Punk will be bleeding. Look what we did with AEW Fight Forever. We're running it oh back, boy. baby. So I'm ready. <laughs> CM Punk. Hero. <laughs> yeah, I got to go with Mr. CM Punk. I want to see his entrance, victory animations, all the new taunts, and especially the new GTS. Hopefully, it's something like the WWE 2K15 GTS where they sell it like the raw 1000 episode the rock where they go a little bit down and then like then they take the back bump and get knocked out it's it's just the animation we have right now it's i don't like it at all and uh yeah i'm excited mostly excited for that new gts man hopefully more than one gts too no, has it been confirmed that we'd even get any no it, it does look like we're going to get a gts because somebody uh never mind but yeah somebody talked <laughs> about it online and, and that's what it was so okay. hey that that's um that's what it is right now. Now, uh, before we get out of here, um, this is a topic that everybody's been talking about lately, kind of just rebringing it up. Uh, we got the Pat McAfee DLC pack in July, bro. Oh. And in September, we got uh, the Global Stars pack, which you could say might be the most anticipated once we get around that mm -hmm. time because mm -hmm. there's a lot of stars on there. Uh, Who's in that one? Do you have it? Uh, yeah, I, I can. We got Lyra Valkyria, uh, Jade Cargill, Carlito, Dragon mm. Lee. Uh, and we got, I think one more. I can't remember the, the off the top of my head, but off the, the top, the, the pack, the, <laughs> the pack looks amazing in my opinion. It might be better yeah, than the ECW one. pack all around. I think CM mm -hmm. Punk is really carrying this one right now. Yeah. Um, and the reason why it's so hyped is obviously because of him. I mean, he hasn't been in the game in forever. So yeah, um, boys are cool too, though. I got to give them their strikes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So how do you guys feel about these two months, man? That we not gonna have nothing. It's going to be cooked. I was just looking at the pack that we're getting next month. Martian Thrasher, sure, but they can't carry a pack. Man, I am not I am not happy cool. about that pack, bro. The that that pack, the Post Malone pack and the and the uh and the McAfee? And, the, and the Pat, Pat McAfee, McAfee man, they, oh, they could have kept those. Great. They could have kept those, man. And and especially the Pat McAfee one. I know some people were like trying to make some light out of it and say, "Hey, this is no. the uh pack that, you know, we could use to make some people job out now, nah, man. I don't want none of that, bro. No. You could get the job. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, we got enough jobbers. Yeah, man. But yeah. 